In this video, I'll be giving you the best guide for the Maxis side of the Tower of Babel Easter Egg in the Black Ops 2 Zombies map, Transit. Completion of this Easter Egg will count towards the Maxis Super Easter Egg, which is unlocked after completing Transit, Die Rise, and Buried's Easter Egg quests. Before we begin, you'll need to have at least two people in your game in order to complete this Easter Egg, unless you have a mod installed that allows you to complete it solo. As always, there's a few things you'll want to do before attempting the Easter Egg that will help you along the way, some of which is necessary for completion. First, I would suggest playing a few games prior to your Easter Egg attempt to store some points in the bank so you can get everything done at a low round. I would also suggest getting the Tombstone Perma Perk before attempting this Easter Egg because it'll allow you to keep your perks after going down, and when you get back up, even if the power is switched off, they'll become active again. You'll want this for later steps of the Easter Egg when the power is required to be off and your perks will become deactivated. To get the Tombstone Perma Perk, you'll need to have bought all four of your perks in three separate games before before round 6. Once you have the Tombstone Perma Perk, the perks I would recommend picking up are Quick Revive, which is located at the Bus Depot, Juggernaut and Stamina, which are both located in town, and Double Tap, which can be found in the barn at the farm. The Turbine will be required for multiple steps of the Easter Egg, and the parts to craft it can be found right in the Bus Depot. The first part is the Fan, which is located on the bench near the Buildable Table, the second is the Mannequin, which is leading up against the Bus Route Map, and the last part is the Tail, which is located by the Bookcases. Once you have all three parts crafted at the table and spawn, you can pick it up and stash it in your inventory. You'll also want to purchase the Galvan Knuckles from the top of the the diner because you'll be spending a lot of time in the fog and it'll make the denizens two hit. In order to access the roof, you'll need the hatch which can be found either behind the doors inside of the bus depot, the shed at the diner, or the shed at the farm. To open any of these doors, you'll need to place a turbine down in front of it. Once you have the hatch, you can install it inside of the diner and you'll be able to climb up to the roof and buy the galvan knuckles. Rounding out our setup here, you'll need to make sure that one of the players inside of your game has the EMPs. The only way to get them is from the box, but honestly the pull rate on them isn't too bad, so you should be able to get them within the first box or two. We can now move on to the first step of the easter egg, which is to turn on the power and then turn it off again. The power can be built by picking up and crafting three parts that can all be found inside of the power station. The first part is the panel, the second part is the handle, and the last part is the zombie arm. Again, all of these parts can be found inside of the white room of the power station. You can craft the entire switch of the buildable table inside of the power room. Once the power switch is crafted, turn it on to release the Avogadro and then turn it back off again. For the next step, we'll be building a nav card reader underneath the power tower that's in the cornfields. The nav card has four different parts associated with it, and all but one of the parts have two possible locations. The first part is the meteor, which can always be found in the rubble on the side of the bus depot next to the mystery box location. The second part is the wooden plank, which is located either in the tunnel near the M16 wall by or in the power station below the tombstone perk machine. The third part is the radio, which can be found on top of the shelf in the diner or inside of Nocturne and Toten in the cornfields. And the last part is the electric box, which can be found either on the wall next to the refrigerator in the house at the farm or next to the dumpster at the town. You can only carry one part of the Time, so take each part individually to the tower in the cornfields and craft the nav card on the back side of the tower. For the next step, you absolutely have to make sure that the power is switched off and you and your teammate have a fresh turbine in your inventory. Hang out underneath the tower and wait until the entire sky around you is electrified with lightning. Not just lightning in the sky off in the distance, it has to be all around you. This might take a while to happen, so train a zombie underneath the tower until the sky is lit up. Once the lightning is all around you, kill off the last zombie to end the round and the Avogadro is almost guaranteed to spawn in. If it doesn't spawn in, just get another zombie and wait until the lightning appears everywhere again. If you have a tombstone perma perk, this is where I would suggest taking it down because when you get revived, the perks will be active again and you'll be able to survive more easily. When the Avogadro is spawned in, lead him underneath the tower and as he's approaching, you and one of your teammates must place a fresh turbine down at each of the pillars across from the nav card table. When the Avogadro gets underneath the tower, flash him with an EMP to kill him instantly. If you've done this correctly, Maxis will say you're doing good but you need more power. This leads us to the last step of the easter egg. If you flashed your turbine with the EMP while taking out the Avogadro, and they're no longer working, let the zombies destroy them and head back to the bus depot to get fresh ones. Once you and your teammate have fresh turbines, you have to place them down at two different lampposts around the map. These can either be found in the fog or at some of the locations around the map, but any of the two will do fine. Once both turbines are placed down, the lampposts will glow orange and a light will shoot to the top of the tower, electrifying and completing the Max's side of the easter egg. You'll be rewarded with the double points if you make it back underneath the tower within 30 seconds, and the transit icon in the select menu will now be glowing orange, signifying you've completed the Max's side of the easter egg. If you've enjoyed this easy to follow easter egg guide and you used it to complete the transit easter egg, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of these guides and check the playlist in the description below for a link to a playlist with all the guides for the other Call of Duty Zombies easter eggs.